Bill O'Reilly is going to debate John Stossel here about gambling. Let's listen. Now, you want, as a libertarian, anybody to gamble at any time, anywhere, right? Any adults. Any, people should be able to do anything that's peaceful. So if that's true, the 9 million compulsive gamblers we have in the United States would probably rise to 27, 37 million. Yes? Well, s s no, I don't Why accept not? that. Well, if it was easier to just gamble your life away, say on the Internet, you could do whatever you wanted on the Internet, gamble, 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 you wouldn't have to live your, your, your own living room would be your casino. You know, you don't think well, there'd be an explosion in people losing the rent money? There would be a few more, but your, your number is dubious. This group claims there are that many problem gamblers. Not all are addicted to million, Have you ever million, been to Vegas say. and the other casino states? Have you ever seen the, you know, the ghetto areas and then what, what these people do? Have you ever been there? Yes, and I agree. It's gross at the slot machines where they're getting 20% hit to the casino each time and they lose all their money and they yeah. just keep going. It's repulsive, but banning it doesn't stop it. It goes on it. illegally uh, then. I was never a ban gambling kind of guy, but I think you have to regulate it. If you're going to have it, it should help the kids. So, for example, legalized gambling in many states, the revenue the state get goes to the schools. I'll support that. But I won't support unfettered gambling everywhere because I think it's just uh, harmful. I really do. I think it's a harmful situation. Some people can control it. I bet once in a while on games. Not a lot. Uh, I'm not an exciting guy like you. I don't have my little friends coming over throwing <laughs> chips on the table. That would give me a heart attack. That's way too much excitement for me. But, uh, but I don't mind you doing it. But I do think that if you open the gates and anybody does anything at any time, then, and you can't control, you say yeah, adults, if you had legalized internet gambling, you know kids would be on that. Who's, how do they go? They're not going to know who's gambling. I'll give you the last word on it. Well, the kids who gamble turn out to be less likely to be problem gamblers. They learn about odds. They learn about math. And look, what you talk about the math. states, what they're doing. Those lotteries they run are the worst, sleaziest, most disgusting game. The odds are terrible, and they advertise it like, don't work. You can make millions in the lottery. But again, the money goes to good things. Ten percent goes to education or whatever. Maybe ten percent. Fifty, sixty percent goes to the winner. Thirty. 5% goes to the company running the lottery, often an Italian conglomerate. Maybe 10% goes to the, to the right, purpose. Yeah, uh, on this one, I am 100% with Stossel. And I think O'Reilly is just being silly. I mean, it's silly. So let's just look... First, let's look at this idea of the lottery versus casinos. So when it comes to the lottery... How hypocritical and ridiculous is it that the government tells you, we have banned gambling, it is outlawed, you're not allowed to gamble. Unless, of course, you want to gamble with us. Then it's legal. But only gambling with us is allowed. Gambling in any other ways that you want to do, whether it's with your buddies on a Friday night, whether it's, you know, a nearby casino or, you know, an underground casino, underground gambling place. Nope, that's not allowed. So you can't gamble any other way that you want to gamble. The only way you're allowed to gamble is with us. And oh yeah, by the way, when you gamble with us, it is empirically the worst odds imaginable. That hypocrisy is overwhelming and it drives me crazy. So in this respect, I'm actually more of a free market capitalist than Bill O'Reilly is. You know, it's so funny. I, Bill O'Reilly, uh, I'm a conservative. I believe in small government. Except on the issue of gambling. I think the government should get into your life and tell you exactly what you are allowed to do and you're not allowed to do. For fuck's sake, man, then you're not a small government conservative. How many times have we been over this? Uh, the Republicans love small government unless, of course, it's uh, telling you how to live your life, uh, telling gay people who they can and cannot marry, telling women what they could do with their bodies, uh, telling people if they could take the pill, if they can't take the pill, bailing out Wall Street and giving them millions of dollars, and telling you you're not allowed to gamble or put it, uh, substance in your body when you, whenever you want to put it in your body. So they're in favor of small government, except that they're absolutely not in favor of small government. So it's just, it's, it's silly. Uh, and then... So let's go through a couple of O'Reilly's arguments there and respond to them. He goes, yeah, oh yeah, uh, you want to legalize gambling? Well, 9 million gamblers is going to become like 30 million then. Right, right. Actually, no, Bill, we don't know that. So for example, uh, what was it? When Portugal, I think it was Portugal, when they decriminalized drugs, uh, you know what happened? Drug use decreased across the board. 
Now, why did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know either. None of us really know. But what it does is it shows you, it demonstrates that it, it's not always going to be the eff effect that you would expect to happen if you implement policy X. So yeah, of course, theoretically, hypothetically, if you're just uh, talking out of your ass and, uh, you know, guessing here, you could say, oh, well, if you legalize gambling, there'd be so many more people gambling and be addicted to it. Or not. Or not. You know, you would say, oh, if you decriminalize drugs, a lot more people are going to do drugs. But they didn't. But they didn't. All right, so next argument. That one, and by the way, let's say even if that were true, that there are more gamblers, I don't care. Sorry, did that make me a bad guy? I don't care. If, look, if you want to ruin your own life, that's your fucking business. It's none of my business. And then when he says, well, uh, you know, oh, well, pe uh, people aren't going to be able to control their, themselves. They're going to lose their minds, man. You don't want that to happen. Well, no, Bill, just like with every, every other substance, for example. So with alcohol. Sure, there are people who fucking go crazy and drink until they kill themselves or they drink and then they get into an accident and cause damage and hurt and harm and everybody's upset and it's a terrible thing. Of course, there are people that take it too far with anything, especially something like alcohol or other drugs, for example. But that doesn't mean you ban alcohol. The whole concept of freedom is, well, yeah, some people might fuck it up, but that's their problem. We need to be the higher-minded ones here and say, well, don't take it away from everybody else because a small segment of society can't control themselves. The same thing applies with gambling. The overwhelming majority of gamblers are moderate people who aren't going to lose their minds. They're going to bet a little bit here and there. But his idea is ban it for everybody because some assholes might fuck up. Uh, it's such a ridiculous way of thinking. And then uh, my favorite parts are, when O'Reilly goes, yeah, no, I, I bet sometimes. Well, you're arguing against that being legal. You're admitting, I'm going against the thing that I say I'm in favor of right now. Like, how can you admit that? Like, do you not realize you're a hypocrite? Boom, period. C case closed. Game over. You lost the debate, man. <laughs> you're like, I'm totally against this gambling thing. It's terrible, man. But I bet every once in a while, though. So you're not against it. See, this is the kind of silly thinking, like, he's not making logical connections here. He said, well, I bet, and that's cool, and he even said to Stossel earlier on, or might have played there, I don't remember, I had to chop it out when I was editing earlier, uh, and at one point he says to Stossel, I'm cool with you doing that, getting together with your friends or whatever, but I'm against gambling. But that is fucking gambling, dude! You're trying to have your cake and eat it too. 